Alright, hey, this is Ninetales, and I'm going to be commentating on a match between uh, G-Man, the Cosmic Destroyer, and Zeno. I'm also here, Summer Heat. <laughs> Summer Heat's with me. Technical um, difficulties. So, it looks like they're starting off on Lilat. Zeno's playing his a typical Falcon. main Falcon, and G-Man with his typical main uh, Diddy. Diddy. Although, G-Man does have a Falcon second that he'll pull out, potentially, if he wants to go into a Falcon today. Oh, uh, yeah, fun times. Alright, and um, so Diddy's already going into his down throw up airs. He had the banana out, but it disappeared already. Uh, G-Man's really good at uh, putting a lot of pressure on with sort of like short hop back air, short hop fares. Diddy's aerials are really safe to use to apply pressure in that way. Yeah, didn't Diddy Kong be um, nerfed though with his up air? Like, he does way less damage in the back. Oh yeah, Diddy Kong got nerfed all around. Um, yeah. He's still a solid character though. He just got nerfed in sort of his damage and kill potential in his moves. Mm -hmm. So he just has to work harder for his kills, but they all still function the same for the most part. Right. So um, Captain Falcon is going to be uh, as a zone breaker character. We're going to see him trying to rush in a lot. Uh, Zeno's really good at pulling out uh, unpredictable raptor boosts. Oh, he actually yeah. got G Man last, uh, or two weeks ago that way, I think. Yeah, I remember that. But that one got predicted. <laughs> oh, the spot dodge gets caught by a down smash. Zeno takes the first stock. <laughs> and uh, G-Man going right back oh, into the Diddy shenanigans. <laughs> down throw to back air. Okay, you got slang there. Just shielding the jab, waiting to punish it. Yep. The uh, Falcon's um, rapid jab like that is a little bit easier to punish than the gentleman. Oh, yeah. So, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a lot more dangerous to apply it to a shield like that. Yeah, as we just saw, the gentleman has a freaking hitbox on like, the back, like on a shoulder blade. Yeah. Oh, did he with the melee there, but he gets it, he gets the backwards hit on it, so it doesn't get the kill. Oh, but there, there, the oh, banana is fit into that the F-Smash that's going to take the uh, Zero's first stock. Zero's got the 23% lead. He's going to lose it real fast to a lot of Diddy combos, though. <laughs> oh, wow. Getting clipped with those up airs as you try to fall is just such a pain against Diddy. Not as bad as it used to be. Oh, uh, this is a close match. Uh, yeah, it's back and forth right now, and they're keeping the percent very even, so oh, yeah. we see. The interest of the C Zeno seems to get really good uh, reads on sort of like how to catch uh, G-Man off guard. Yep. Like that, just like that with the surprise uh, Falcon okay. kick coming down. G-Man better watch out for your shield. Yeah, G-Man had a really low shield there. It's restoring now. Oh, wow! Okay, that's not stock. That was so solid, though. That was just a, like an unbelievable... I think G-Man saw that coming. Yeah, it almost got that coming. Yeah. All right, he tried for the rapid really boost, it. but on the shield, and that's now we're seeing the effects of the nerf. That definitely would have been stock oh, pre-patch. Oh, oh, but the rapid boost, boost takes it. the game. <laughs> Just like I was <laughs> saying earlier, um, Zeno's really good at catching those. Uh, <laughs> catching those. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> yeah, he's really good at uh, getting those reads on Jimmy somehow. Just as an actor, it seems like. <laughs> Alright, so it'll be interesting to see if G-Man's going to stick Diddy or if he's going to uh, switch to Falcon. Maybe you're get, getting a little bit of, uh, getting a little prideful. Oh, oh, oh he's going to Ganon. Ganondorf, oh, respect the thy heavy father, Falcon. Respect thy father, Ganon. Alright, this is interesting. Let's see what the counterpick stage is. Alright, just getting cocky with Ganon. Alright, we got an Omega, <laughs> Omega Temple. The Dark Lord, the Song the of Captain. Storms. Yeah, he didn't tell me we picked Ganon. Zeno <laughs> <laughs> was apparently uninformed of this. <laughs> well, <laughs> doesn't really matter. He, he has a G Man has the the pick priority, so he gets to pick Ganon yeah. after Zeno you know, decides what he's going to do. The power versus the speed. So Ganon's working with some interesting customs. Ganon gets a lot of boost from customs. The wizard kick that he does there. Oh yeah, it goes diagonally. It goes diagonally. It's really solid in, uh, for kind of a surprise uh, attack in the neutral, and it uh, adds a lot to Ganon's horizontal recovery ability. Yes. Since he can still up the out of it. Yeah. And additionally, I think he has a custom that a lot that uh, will give him more height and a yeah. kind of surprise kill on his up. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called, but like. Yeah. Yes. It's way more powerful. I think it's called Dark Fist. Oh, nice back air there. 
Oh, oh, oh! So Captain Falcon, we could, even if Captain Falcon gets a lot more hits on him, that's just Ganondorf's thing is he can get as many hits as he wants. And there's the Dark Fist, you can see it's got a lot more height than Ganon's typical recovery. Ganon's pretty menacing with customs on. Yeah. I think we saw earlier he even pulled out the neutral B with the sword. Yeah, the like blade. Yep. Yeah, the way, uh... Oh, shields the Raptor boost that time. Not gonna let him so good call it that, and punishes with the uh, forward smash. Takes the first stock. Ganon at 85, but he's a super heavy character. Oh. The dashing falcon punch. It's a custom falcon punch that uh, gives you a lot more range to your punch. Obviously. <laughs> yep. <Whoops. laughs> that was an accidental up tilt, but uh, didn't get punished too hard for it. And as you saw, that was the wizard foot. It catches you off guard like that. You know, you just uh, Zeno thought he was safe to keep that forward smash charging, but. And trying to get the tilt with or the spike with the tilt, yeah. but catches that was interesting. G Man just ran into that charge forward smash. Yeah. Oh, but he's oh, gonna put a fair is gonna take the, the game for that. Uh, JV two stock right there came back took the stock right after his death. All right, goes game three. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we're going to game three now. Yeah, I like the way um, Wizard's uh, fist works. Like the dark wrap, fist. Your, yeah, dark fist. Yeah, I can talk. <laughs> no it, like basically, it sends you up in the air, like low percent, high percent, whether or not, and then just if you are at the right percent, you will just not do the second hit. Yeah, the um, the second hit is has kill potential. I've, uh, we saw G Man take some surprising stocks of it uh, last week, and the first hit can combo you straight up into it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, myself. Yeah, getting hit by that dark fist on the ground can be pretty deadly. All right. We got three. Same characters. We're going to battlefield. I'm assuming same customs. Seems that way. Falcon's got to go for a lot of those uh, safer moves, I think. Just uh, combo as hard as he can and rack up damage on uh, Ganondorf. And then start going for his uh, those hard read raptor boosts and smash attacks and so on. Yeah, now we haven't yet seen whether or not he has a custom like flame choke or side B. Uh, yeah, he probably kept the standard one. I think the standard side B is uh, pretty pretty much the best one. Oh, oh yeah, you should grab it and send it to you. Oh, we saw a picture seeing a pause here. I wonder what this is about. Pause stock. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, that was a sneeze pause, apparently. I think everyone's cool with it, and we're moving on. Yeah, I actually clicked. Got, got those tissues. <laughs> All right, wow, the down air to back air, that was a really cool combo. There's a lot of hits done on the down air. Yeah, aerial raptor boost. Yeah, made it back safely. Kobe. Oh, the knee. Goes for the knee on the shield, gets punished with the forward tilt. Ganondorf knows that uh, he can finish uh, Captain Falcon off with one good hit just like that. That was just the, the very that extent of Falcon's ability to recover. That was so precise. Better not get hit by any more of those. Oh, and that's probably going to be it. Yep. First stock goes to G-Man. But he's at 110, so he's got to be careful. Ganondorf is heavy, but Captain Falcon has some powerful moves that could definitely finish it off right here. That forward tail is so quickly. At the same time, G-Man's got, um, extending his lead pretty far here, 34. Just one or two hits. Four smash takes his stock. Yeah, uh, G-Man missed the ledge there when he was going for his Dark Fist. Went a little too high <laughs> due to the custom, and he had to land on the stage and just take... He was facing the wrong way and just ate a forward smash real yeah, hard. So the first. that was a pretty good punish by uh, by Zeno. But he's taken a lot of damage before he was able to get that stock. Um, pretty big percent gap, oh, no. and that's not good where you want to be against Ganondorf. <laughs> no, very much. At this point, he's got to be really, really careful with every approach he does, um, yeah, every move he makes, because if he gets punished for anything, it could be his stock. Demise. Oh, interesting. Man. Was that a self destruct? Yeah, he must have uh, missed the second jump. Yeah, he didn't yeah. Have it. Well, good game to both players. Uh, it seemed that that Falcon or that switch from uh, Diddy to Ganondorf really worked out in uh, G-Man's favor.